different pieces of the ceremony, all those kind of things for sure. Yeah, so raw footage, five to eight minute film is kind of what you're thinking. And what about, obviously, and so obviously when you, because everyone qualifies raw footage as something different, raw footage in its, in its actual form of raw footage basically. morning today's Tuesday June 11th it's July sorry definitely not June it's about 1130 in the morning I'm at a place called Mount Bethel Diner in Mount Bethel Pennsylvania this always seems why does this why does this always but like I said it's Tuesday it's time to move let's go you know Pablo they, they did that and she put the thing in and it was declined the card yeah and I told her she says, she gave it to me and says, no, do it again. It's no reason why it should be declined. And she did it again and it came out true, but I'm going to call the bank because I'm tired of those things. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Good, how you doing? How you been? I've been great. Good to see you. Enjoying this nice weather. I know, right? <laughs> how about it? So what's happening so, here? So I have a quick question for you to see if there's something you could do for me, maybe. <laughs> I have it over here if you want to just come yeah. take a look. Do you have a quick minute first of all? Yeah, Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> I was parked in, a, in an Allentown parking garage. Oh. And popped it in there. someone popped it in nice and good. I gave you a trick when it's a hot day. Yeah. You reach up, You can reach up in there. If you, I don't know if you tried. I haven't tried yet, no. Yeah, you should be able to go up underneath there. We have to do it on a hot day. Can you get in there? Yeah. Yeah, way, way you can down. Go ahead. Underneath here, yep. Yeah. I can wait 90 degrees all day. You have to wait, yeah, like the other day it was hot. When it's warm out, yeah. you gotta go up in there and you push on it, it'll pop out. Will it? But it has to be warm out. And what kind of a car is that one there? He'll tell you, it's the Firebird. A Firebird. What year is this one here? 67. 67, okay. Wow, wow. Amazing. 50 years old this year. 50 years old, wow. Well, thank you so much, guys, I appreciate it. Thank Dean, you, always Dean. a pleasure to see you. Right. God bless you, Dean. Take care. Say, say hey, you too. We'll see you soon. All right. Well, there you go. I don't have to spend any money. I love that. So, as you can kind of see here, my uh, my room is just dirty. And it's like out of order. And I hate that. So, today is like a fix myself up and get everything back in order kind of day. Because I've just been so busy. Even to the point where I haven't even been able to post on the vlog and I hate having a dirty room because then I'm not clean and organized which hinders my productivity and it's just not a good thing. So today is one of those days where I'm going to clean everything so I can get back on the productive train, track, whatever. Yeah, so let's get to it. So, you've probably already noticed, but in the event that you haven't, I'm fully aware that the vlog has looked a lot more like this, when normally it looks a lot more like this. And it usually doesn't sound like this. Check, check, check one, two. Do you hear the difference? Usually it sounds more like this. Check, check, check one, two. There's definitely more clarity here. And the reason for that is, thanks to my friend and business partner, Scott, I got the Canon G7X Mark II. So far, I've really been loving it. And you have to understand, my main purpose for getting this camera is I'm not switching cameras. I'm gonna be keeping my Canon 70D and I'm gonna be keeping my Video Rode Mic Pro up top. I love the clarity and the quality of image, so I'm not getting rid of that. So my main reason for getting the Canon G7X Mark II is every time I'm in an area where I can't bring my big camera or I'm in an area where I don't wanna be the center of attention, but I do wanna film, I'm always having to bring in my GoPro 5. And I love my GoPro 5, but if you haven't noticed already, it doesn't have the best audio and image quality. It's great for stuff when you're in the water, for action shots, or even time lapses, I find it to be the best for. But it's not the best, like, like secondhand sidearm camera. So I was looking for something that had 
greater quality of image, greater quality audio, but was still small enough that I could hold it in one hand, I could carry it in my pocket, throw it in a backpack, anything like that. So my friend Scott suggested the G7X, and everything so far this morning has been filmed on that camera. Again, I'm not replacing the Canon 70D, I'm just testing it out to see how it works and, and see what it can do. This isn't really like a review of the camera, I'm just kind of telling you what's going on. But I am very excited because I have a new camera, so that's always exciting. But you know what, speaking of Scott, he actually used to own one. Let's get his perspective on it. Yeah. If you could give me your thoughts on the G7X being that you used to own one. What haven't I owned, right? Well, there's that. If there's anything that you can remember about the G7X that you would say... Autofocus was... sucked. Okay, great start, good. Box would appear around your face, giving you confidence that it was in focus. Then you'd watch back the footage and it was not in focus. Which I've noticed, but it, I've noticed that when it does capture you, pretty dang clear. It is. Problem is, if it nothing's gets... clear when it's not in focus. There That's a good go. camera. It's got a nice build to it. it. Feels decent. It's got time lapse movie mode. It's got a better hinge and flip up screen, this screen itself, than the RX100, but it doesn't shoot in 4K, which to some people doesn't matter. It doesn't have high frame rate mode, which to some people it doesn't matter. And it has really bad autofocus, which is really odd because Canon's the only company that actually has done everything right with autofocus. Sucked on the G7X Mark II, like which makes think, no sense. You think they would put like the dual pixel thing like, in and yet our, like and, and Sony's RX100 has the best autofocus I've ever seen, and yet they are not as good in it. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I will say this, this definitely has better image quality and better sound than the GoPro 5. Yeah. So does the GoPro 1. <laughs> well, we're headed to a meeting. When are we not headed to a meeting? We won't give our actual thoughts on this meeting. Nah, just, we're just headed to a meeting. <laughs> what? What is it? It's good. Oh, free samples? Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I've never seen such a little drink in my life. This is the cutest little Starbucks yeah. cup ever. <laughs> it's also free, so that's good. Is mine done yet? Oh, oh. is this mine? Where's uh, yours? Did uh, you, get the, did you get the same thing? Yeah, same thing. Oh, that's yours? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're at Starbucks right now. This actually isn't the meeting. We just finished the meeting and everything went great. But as per usual, Scott and I like to do work at Starbucks, so it's time to get to work. Canon G7X Mark II. Let me share my thoughts. So what Scott said earlier is accurate. The more gear that I buy, the more I'm finding out that there's just no perfect camera out there. Every camera, every piece of equipment has faults and cons about it. But I tend to be a person that likes to look at the pros and what I found this little camera is great as a secondary camera to match up with my Canon 70D that I use as my main shooter. So far the video quality that I've got from it I've loved. The time lapses on here are super crisp. By the way, all the time lapses from today in this vlog all came from this camera. It's got a really nice, clean, black look to it. It's very robust, it feels durable. And like I said, it's not the smallest camera, but I like that it can fit in your pocket. And even if not in a pocket, it definitely fits in a book bag, no problem. The LED screen on the back is really, really big and bright. I love that it's touchscreen. The buttons are easy to understand and they're very tactile, which I like. And I love that it has 1.8 aperture, which gives you that really cool depth of field look and allows a ton of light in so that you can really use it in low light situations. So is it the best camera? No. But is it great for what I need? Absolutely. Like I said, this isn't a review. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on the new sidearm camera that I just got. But if this can help you in any way, I hope it does. So you're definitely gonna see me using this camera a lot. Like I said, I'm not getting rid of my Canon 70D, but I'm using this as my secondary when I can't use this camera. So here's my little initial 
first impressions video of the Canon G7X Mark II. Hope this helps. See you tomorrow.